Hi, this is Greg and I'm here with this little girl, Daisy. She's gonna get tangled up here. We rescued a couple months ago and very interesting story with Daisy. She came to us as a found dog. And typically there is a procedure when there, someone finds a dog that we wanna make sure that an attempt to locate the owner is made. So after they found the dog, they looked online to see if they could find someone looking for their dog and they found some puppies that were for sale in the nearby area. So they reached out to the person that had the, the posting and the person hung up on them. Then they called back and the person blocked them. And someone else tried it and the same thing happened. So they were in a situation where they couldn't keep the dog for that long and they reached out to us. We were like, look, you need to notify the shelter, uh, obviously put up the post, but even though you think you found the owner, you may not have, but as it turns out, they found the owner. And in turn, the owner did finally contact them and they were given our number and the owner reached out to us, not to see about getting the dog back, not to see about getting Daisy back, not to see how she was, not to see if she was hit by a car or injured in any way. They contacted us to see if there would be any fines or fees associated with her being found. Uh, they went on to say that they've been looking to rehome her. She's had a couple litters and amazingly, they're purebred litters and they're on the internet looking to sell them. They want to give her up and we ended up taking her in, transferred her into the rescue, and now she's available. We've had her out with other dogs. She's a little bossy. She's gonna be, it's gonna have to be the right dog. I would say most dogs are probably not the right dog for her. She is not cat friendly. We went out to look for a toy for her today. I doubt very seriously she's had that many toys over her life. Matter of fact, she didn't really know what to make of uh, the one that we purchased. This one, she's actually looks like she's more scared of it. Uh, even though it's got a squeak in it, but it was interesting when we were at the pet store, there's cats and she was more interested in the cats. Had I gotten her a cat, she would probably have been a lot happier. Even those cats were not dog friendly. They knew how to care for themselves. They knew it held their own. Just little interesting tidbit of information there. Not cat friendly. She did live with children. We don't know. Uh, they were above six years, older than six years of age. So she, she's done well with them. We took her to uh, get her a little pup cup today and she did amazingly well. And uh, she's done well in the car, pretty much. She does like being with you, so when she was left in the car, she made a little bit of noise. She has been spayed, she's got her shots current now, she's looking good, she's ready, she's ready to find a forever home. Active, she's four years old and she's active, so make no mistake, she's gonna need some exercise. She is, she is a German Shorter Pointer, and typically while they start to mellow four or five years of age, she's still very active. Although I will say this, when we were done doing our running around and going for the pup cup and going get her a toy and just getting out, she was sleeping nicely in the car. So she, she really enjoyed that. She's really having the time right now. There are ground squirrels out here and that's what she is hunting. And she is really, oh, easy. She's, she's having a time looking through all the holes and squirrel holes here. We know that she was house trained in her previous home. Uh, she doesn't look like she knows how to use the doggy door, but she can learn. That's something that it doesn't take too long. She probably hasn't been around one, she doesn't know. She does, like I said, probably best in a well-socialized dog. Any dog that's gonna uh, be alpha or a little dominant is probably not gonna be a good good match for her. She, she will try to establish her dominance. And uh, even in a play situation, she'd probably do better if, if they're well-socialized, well-behaved dogs. If you're interested in meeting Daisy, she is available and you just fill out the application on our website. If you haven't done so already, if you have, just reach out to the volunteer that is processing your application and we will get you set up with possibly an appointment. 
Oh, what's that? But very, just a really good natured dog. We've given her a lot of attention, tried to spoil her today, just give her tons of love and affection. Got her a pup cup, got her a toy. Just, it's been a busy day for her. She, and she's in having fun. Oh, this is a bird. You see her? So do me a favor, if you can't adopt or she's not the right dog for you, you can help us out tremendously just by liking and sharing this video. Uh, if you're interested in adopting or interested in seeing how you can help, you can also subscribe to the channel and we will keep you updated with all the dogs. We're making videos all the time with the dogs, so it's a really great way to see what dogs are available. Uh, you can also learn about the breed. If you're not familiar with the breed, we encourage you to watch some of the, the videos where you'll see how active the dogs are and you, you can just, you can see what's going on. But we really appreciate if you like and share this video and help us find a home for this cute little, where did she go? <laughs> she said, we're the squirrels. <laughs> she goes, that's it. <laughs> you can help us find a home for her. Thank you.